There are several ways that you can possibly set up a one metre square for excavation or for survey. Um, I will just show you one particular way of doing it. Now before I start, one thing to bear in mind is that when you use pegs, pegs have real width. If you can see this, this is approximately four millimetres wide. So you need to be very mindful and be consistent about whether you're measuring from the inside or the outside edge of the pegs. In this instance, we're going to measure from the outside face of the pegs. So the pegs are within the square. You will need about 12 pegs and preferably metal tapes. So I measure from the outside edge, one meter, placing the second peg so that its outer edge is at the one meter mark. Now your orientation might have been established by using a compass bearing or it might be on an existing baseline. Once we have our first metre, then we need to set a series of right angles to get the other corners. So you need two more tapes for this. Again, placing one tape, so it's hitting the outer edge of the peg. We then stretch a second tape. Again, outer edge. To establish a right angle, you either have to have a 345 angle or you use 1.414 across the diagonal. So you need to move this one meter line till it matches 1.414. Then peg within. Again, you'll see that the peg is within the tapes. Now to get the far corner, we do the same thing again. Same process again with the other angle. Going from the outer edges, one metre along the flat and 1.414 across the diagonal. With the peg going inside the square. We then need to check all of the distances of the sides. One metre. Now that we've checked that we have a square, we're going to string up. What we're actually going to do in this instance is we're going to offset the pegs because we're going to do an excavation. So we can't have these pegs in the corners of the square. Now remember once again that we're working to the outside edge of the pegs. Prepare one peg with the string tied to it. Place it against the other peg slightly offline. You'll see why in a second. Push the string line reasonably low. If you pull the string line past, make it so that it touches the far peg but does not bend. Once you've got that, put a second peg, bring it up to the string line, again don't bend the line, and put it into place. Leave that for the moment. We can then do the same for the other angles. Again, bring it up to the peg, don't let it bend. String line beyond. You can then reverse it and do it for all of the rest of the edges. Alright, we now have all the corners set up for our square. We have to start stringing out. So get your string ready. Tie it onto one corner. Now it's important that you remember whether you're dealing with the inside or the outside of the peg. Once the square is set up, we can then take the original corner pegs out. 
and then we can start the excavation.